this video, we'll be discussing how we can set our cases up for success during the Embrace Smile Design process. Here at Embrace, we like to call this the co-design process. Here's why. The steps of the smile design process with Embrace are similar to digital workflows that we may have already implemented in our practices, such as aligner therapy digital workflows. First, you get a 3D digital representation of the teeth. Some may call it a scan. Here at Embrace, we call it a tooth print. After all, our patient's bikes are unique to them. Second, utilizing the patient's chief concern and information we've gathered during the clinical exam, we design or set up the ideal smile outcome. This is true co-design. Lastly, as mentioned in the program non-sliding mechanics video, our smart wires are programmed based on the predetermined destination of the teeth from the co-design process. Once approved and fabricated, we are ready to fit and brace on our patients and let autopilot start. No different than the steps you would take with the liners, let's take a deeper dive so we can become more familiar with the Embrace portal and provide some pearls for clinical success with every submission. Because it's no secret with any digital setup that to achieve more predictable and better quality smile designs, a clear treatment plan with key information is required upfront in the treatment prescription. No one wants to spend precious chair time going down revision rabbit holes. Similar to three stages for the smile design process, we've simplified our treatment prescription form to three buckets. The first part of the form is where we can input the teeth we want to treat and have brackets placed on. For example, upper six to six or lower four to four. Secondly, it's helpful for the smile design team to know if we're adding any external mechanics so that it's a consideration for the coat design. For example, we may want to add in class two elastics or vertical elastics to help close an open bite. Knowing this within our smile design portal will help as we review the overall movements of the case. Finally, so that the code design achieves our intended outcome, and again with any digital submission, we have to add in the treatment goals. This sometimes is as simple as level and align, or more detailed such as improve overjet via IPR, reduce overbite, and correct posterior crossbite. With all our cases, receiving these pieces of information makes the code design process more predictable and efficient. We are moving more and more towards a digital, technology-focused age of practice. With this comes more automation and streamlined processes. One of the best things we can do for our practice is empower a team member to help with uploading records and filling out the treatment prescription. Therefore, setting up custom smile design preferences can help with this. The initial step of the smile design process is completed behind the scenes by the smile design team. They start with the patient-specific ideal setup. This setup includes the projected outcome based on our inputs on the treatment prescription, hence why being as thorough and detailed as possible is best. You can think of this setup as your outcome simulator or aligner setup before the overcorrections are added. With that, as with many orthodontic systems, there are factors that need to be overcome when teeth are moved, such as unwanted side effects of movement. Once the ideal setup is visualized, it is then much easier for the team to add in necessary overcorrections to the smile design so that the proper force system is created for us to get the outcome we seek despite factors mentioned previously. With aligners, we must consider not only the overcorrections, but also the proper staging and placement of attachments. With Embrace, overcorrection is the only consideration needed outside of the ideal smile design. Once the smile design team creates the proper setup, it's now our chance to co-design the case and review for any necessary revisions and or approve the design. Having a system in place always allows for a better checks and balance process. Similar to having a grocery list when you go to the grocery store, we recommend a list to follow for a consistent, comprehensive, and repeatable co-design process like this one shown on the screen. As you can see, there are five buckets, vertical, AP, transverse, arch length discrepancy, and individual tooth assessment which we will dive further into within the fundamentals of Embrace Mini Residency. The digital smile design is the cornerstone of any successful case that utilizes a digital workflow. Embrace is no different. As described in program non-sliding mechanics, the smile design serves as a template to design and fabricate our smart wires and in indirect bonding bracket positions. So proper design is a must if we want more predictable outcomes, shorter treatment time, and happier patients. Don't forget, Similar to other modalities, you can also utilize auxiliaries with your clinical approach, such as bite turbos and elastics. So with that, happy co-designing.